no one. Got a good three to four inches on the ground. You see at the top of the fence there. It's a good measurement of how much snow is actually falling. The second time of the season already. But this year I've got some figs outside outdoors, so. We'll see how well they do. What's up, everybody? This is Ben. Um, you know, it's winter time here. It's January, first week of January. And I'm getting a little, getting a little bit stir crazy. So I want to do a video on how I've been potting up my uh, my fig cuttings that I've been buying and going crazy about. Um, I'm not even done yet because Harvey hasn't even listed his fig uh, cuttings available for this year, not until the end of January. So um, I've already got about four or five bins full of cuttings. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyhow, so I wanted to do a quick video and show you what I'm doing this year versus last year. Um, one, it increases how many cuttings you put in each bin. And two, the simplicity of using the bag method. I call it the fig pop method. And then three, I want to show you uh, the mix that I've done. Um, you know, it's kind of a copycat of the HP Pro mix. So, uh, to a very basic level. Um, let's check it out. Okay, so, uh, this is all it is. I've been using this peat moss, uh, and I've been using perlite, and mixing these two together. Super simple, super easy, and if you look at the HP Pro Mix, I mean, it's mainly peat moss and perlite with mycorrhiza, right? And that's what helps the, uh, the fig cuttings root in. So um, I'm not going to show you the actual mixing of it because I've already done that. But uh, I've also included the mycorrhiza. And what I've done with that is this. So if you don't know what mycorrhiza is, go ahead and look that up. Um, you know, it's a fungi that helps uh, any kind of plant roots be uh, a little bit more productive in terms of uptake of nutrients and water, which helps the plant grow better and um, I guess more efficiently uh, when it uptakes any kind of nutrition from the soil. So what I've done is I've added mycorrhiza into the water um, used to wet the medium which is this right here. So this medium is basically my uh, cheap peat moss. I mean this is going to be a lot cheaper compared to buying you know like a big bag of HP Pro Mix, right? Peat moss, perlite, water mixed with mycorrhiza, mixed together so that it is not damp or wet. If I squeeze this, there's no water. But it does leave a little bit of moisture on my hand, right? So anyhow, <coughs> I've been doing that using these four by 16 U-line bags and um, filled to about halfway. And what I'll do is I'll take a cutting and then I'll plug it into this thing and then uh, use a rubber band to tie it all up and a toothpick to poke a whole bunch of holes here to aerate it. And the reason why I've gone with this method is because um, you know, using the cup method is great, but you can only fit so many cups inside of a bin. And um, using this method, I can just take it and throw it into the bin and not have any issues about like, oh my gosh, I don't have enough room, I have to buy more bins. And that's what I want to do. I want to increase the amount of fig cuttings I can put into one small footprint versus like having to get more bins and more bins and more bins to, um, to house the cuttings, especially this year since uh, I picked up over 135 new varieties in 2017 and then probably another couple dozen already this year. So it's a little bit nuts and I told myself I'm not going to get any more but I have a fig problem it's called a fig addiction so uh anyhow I hope you enjoy this method and um try it out yourself I mean if, you, if you're rooting a lot of cuttings this might be the way to go there's a definitely more ways to skin a cat in this big cutting world um this is just one of them so you know if you use this method fantastic just want to share with you uh what I've done so far um difference here in terms of, in terms of like footprint you got 
three times five. I got 15 cups in this bin using the cup method. In this bin right here, using the bag method, I've literally got like 50. Huge advantage, right? And you know, there's only so much space that you have before you run out, uh, and you know, before you can add an infinite, <laughs> an infinite amount of bins. So that's why I went with the bag method this year. See you next time. Bye-bye.